In today's video, I'm going to teach you how to make an e-commerce website in Hostinger. So what you want to do first, go to Hosting, get a new plan. I'd recommend this WordPress one here. You want to also get yourself a domain, pick whichever one you want. I did it at .com. And then go home and go to the hosting you've just bought here. They'll prompt you to link the domain and the hosting is very easy to do. Now you want to go down to website, add website. Now click start now, create new website. I'd recommend this WordPress one, select. Now here you're going to put in a username and password for it. Hit continue. Now for plugins you want to include, I would recommend WooCommerce is a good one. Hit continue. Now, which storefront do you want? I'd recommend going for storefront, just this one. Um, now, here you can automate your text creation with AI if you would like to, or you can um, write it yourself. I'm going to click skip and I'll write it later myself. Now, it's going to ask you to choose domain. You just want to choose the one you've just made. Cool. Now you want to press finish setup. And this is going to now start creating a website on WordPress. So this is just setting everything up, all your different parts. This will take a few minutes to do. Okay, now it's going to give you options. Do you want to set up your website right away? Or do you want to do this? You want to do it right away. Click edit website. Now here WooCommerce is going to give you some uh, questions for you to answer. I'm going to skip them because I don't want to answer them. But you can put these in, it will help you. So. The first thing I would recommend doing is setting up your payments. So if you first get started here, they're going to set you up with all of these different payment methods. So Visa, MasterCard, American Express, Apple Pay, all of these, it's really, really useful. You can also just integrate Stripe if you'd like to, uh, or PayPal, wherever you'd like. Now, once you've done that, you want to set up some shipping rates. So here you can set your store location, and then it's going to give you some options for shipping. Now if you have free shipping you can leave it at that, if your shipping is like 2 95 leave it at that. Um, you can sort out automatic label printing and stuff like that if you'd like here or you can just do it manually, um, it's whatever you choose. But make sure you set up these shipping options otherwise you won't be able to ship items. Now once you've done that, I'd say it's time to design your store. So go to appearance, you can go to customize. Or you can go to themes, whichever you'd prefer. Now once you're on here, it's going to give you a walkthrough step by step on all the different things that these, this does here. So it will talk to you about your site identity, you know, your header, changing the colors, adding logos, all of that kind of stuff. Now down here, it gives you the different options for phone and tablet mode. You can do all those things. Now if you want to go here to theme, you can change your theme. Um, you can buy themes, but Pick something that you like, pick something that's easy. Next step is creating products. So you want to go to the product section and go to all products and you can create product. You can also import them if you have a big list of them. So it's again going to give you some instructions on what to do. They have the name, description, data points, so like your inventory, your pricing, variance, all that kind of stuff. Uh, another description of your product, product images, tags, categories, and then finally once you're done with that you can hit publish and your product will be published to your site. Now lastly you want to ensure that you have all of the right pages. So if you go here on pages, all pages, you can add new pages. Now there's a ton of pages you're going to want. You're going to want a shipping page, FAQs, tons of things like that. So do your research and you can click add new page and again it's going to bring you into this builder here so you can put the title of the page, the content on it and you can publish that and then you can link that up to your website so that you have all these pages available. Now if you find this video useful and a good introduction of how to make an e-commerce site with, Woo with WooCommerce and WordPress and Hostinger, please like, subscribe and comment down below, they're helped. Thank you for watching.